chef at Cherwell Boathouse and today we're going to be cooking a poached duck egg with a wild garlic, pesto, quinoa, some finished with some muscatel vinegar. So first thing we're going to do is poach the duck egg. So gently boiling pan with some white wine vinegar. Crack the egg, you can be quite firm with it and then gently drop it in just over the top. I usually then just take a small spoon, give it a little swirl around, just to make sure the eggs nicely uh, held together with the white. So next thing we're going to do is heat up our quinoa. Uh, I've pre-cooked the quinoa for 12 minutes in boiling water. So that just goes into the pan, followed by a tablespoon of wild garlic pesto. Wild garlic pesto is made with Hazel, roasted hazelnuts, some oil, uh, lemon juice and parmesan. While that's warming, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the roasted red peppers. Uh, so I've charred the outsides, so a really super, super hot pan. Start cooking it until it's almost burning, and now I put it in the oven at 160 degrees for 10 minutes, just so it's nice and soft, uh, and you've taken those acids and turned them into sweet sugars. Uh, we've also got to go with that some lovely uh, pickled shallots, which we've pickled with sugar, white wine, and some London Pride Ale. We're going to start by putting some of the pesto onto the plates. So that, give it a little mix up so it'll be easier to work with. And around the outside. And then we've just got a little tea on here, which we're going to use for the wild garlic quinoa. So I'll fill that two thirds of the way up. And then just make sure it's nicely pressed in. You've got a lovely flat top on there. So then you've got a couple of leaves of fresh wild garlic to sit on the top of there. And we're going to grab our duck egg. So slot and spoon out onto a tray with a J cloth just to pick up any excess water. I'm just gonna dress with a little bit of our cold pressed rapeseed oil and finish with a touch of salt. All right, that just sits on top with our peppers now. So peppers dressed around the outside, trying to keep just sort of a uh, natural flow to the plates and then followed by some of our pickled shallots and then our final touches I've got a little bit of uh, crisp bread to go around this adds a little bit of texture to the dish all right fantastic well that's it our uh, slow cooked duck egg with uh, roasted peppers, pickled shallots and wild garlic pesto.